It's one of the largest manhunts in American history. More than a thousand law enforcement personnel are trying to solve the mystery of the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil since September the 11th. Monday's bomb explosions were captured by surveillance cameras, news crews, and people at the scene. The FBI is currently reviewing footage which is thought to show a possible suspect planting the second device. It's said to be the best source of video evidence so far. Nonetheless, the Massachusetts governor told the BBC investigators still have a long way to go. It's an ongoing investigation. It's a very thorough and methodical investigation, and it involves uh, several blocks that are being combed through a quarter inch at a time, so uh, or a square inch at a time, and that will take time. The FBI has recovered the remains of one of the bombs, a stainless steel pressure cooker, which had been packed with nails and ball bearings along with a rechargeable battery and circuit board which formed part of the timing device. The governor called today's visit by the president and first lady part of Boston's healing process. Yet Mr. Obama will encounter a city that is nervous and still on the lookout for answers. David Willis, BBC News, Boston.